center of gravity, the point at which the entire weight of a body may be considered as concentrated so that if supported at this point, the body would remain in equilibrium in any position. Religion is a sensitive topic in today's society, which is something I find ironic as our principles have been founded on the basis of religion, in particularly Christianity. Religion is the vehicle used to ensure that everyone shares the same thread of moral opinion and values. This forces people with different ideologies to feel excluded and rejected. Religion is a double-edged sword and it has been used as a weapon to commit acts of war, hatred and genocide. And on the other hand, it has been known to bring peace and unity amongst nations. Religion is the foundation of how most people live their lives, whether they are liberated by it or their freedom oppressed. I feel religion has been the foundation of life. However, it is not everyone's center of gravity. Everyone, no matter their creed or personal beliefs, has been exposed to religion, whether it's through personal upbringing or through the natural channels of society. Whether you believe in a god, person, object, entity, science, or simply nothing at all, everyone can relate to having a positive or negative experience when it comes to believing and having faith or just existing. This subject matter connects us as people, yet divides us and sometimes makes us enemies. However, it doesn't stop us from being able to relate to each other. Whether negatively or positively, everyone has an opinion and a right to define their own center of gravity. Okay, uh, my name is Wagner. I am 24 years old. I am from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And I actually don't have any religion. What does religion mean to you though? Well, the word religion for me is used to classify organizations that try to shape the society behavior. For example, I'm not saying that religion is a bad thing, but the way religion is used nowadays is, in, more, in my opinion, it's, it has the opposite effect it should have, you know? It segregates people instead of bringing people together. Like, because different religions tend to mess with people's head in a way that people think that their truth is the absolute truth. I'm Zach Almond, and I really like to watch movies. <laughs> Are you religious? I am actually, yes. Um, I've been a Roman Catholic all my life. Uh, I haven't been probably as into it as some other people have been, but I still have my belief system. I still follow it. I still listen to the Bible. I go to church and all that. My center of gravity really comes from my parents and the way they raised me to always be very determined and no matter what, keep going. So. I would say that would be more my center of gravity, but 
my religion is more of something to lean on. I think the love my family has for me, I think every time I think things are going bad, I just think about my family, my mother and my father and my brothers. Uh, that's the kind of pure love I think, like the most pure love I've ever found and so far. Uh, I think that's what keeps me strong. Uh, my name is Jason Yok. Uh, I'm a political science student. Uh, I've been here for almost four years in the UOR and I really do enjoy learning and studying and meeting people. Uh, sport, actually. I'm a very big sport fan and you can call me a sport junkie. Um, whenever I feel like, you know, there's nothing else, I always turn to a sport. If I'm having a hard time, I just pick up the basketball, go uh, basketball and go to the court and play basketball or play soccer. Anything to just get off my mind off whatever balances me. So I think the sport, it's what always keeps me. It's the center of my gravity. Has there ever been a point in your life where you weren't focused and you were not doing so well? Uh, yes, actually. It's a lot of time. Can you pinpoint a specific moment where you were going through that moment of failure? Uh, from, from me, from my university experience, I can tell you, for my first semester, I felt a few classes and I've, I almost thought like, no, I'm not gonna make it all the way through. <laughs> Um, my name is Jael Bardnick. I'm a second year film student at the U of R. And uh, I'm uh, always willing to learn and to listen. The things that I turn to at the end of the day, I kind of, if I'm having a really bad day, I usually rely on a lot of music or um, artistic outlets to kind of uh, funnel that like frustration or anger. Anything that I sort of have that uh, is bottled up usually gets released through that, especially through just like listening to music. If I've had a really bad day and like I'm one of those people that needs to be left alone for a bit if I've had a bad day, um, I turn to my iPod or my record player or even if I just have like, I play a little bit of guitar and even it just like playing a song that makes me feel better about myself. Um, it just, it sort of lets all that go and it makes me feel less tense. It makes me feel a lot better. My name is Abby Elizabeth Newton and my favorite pie is key lime pie. Does your religion affect the relationships you have with others? Not a lot, but sometimes like, in Assiniboia, my friends would be like, hey, let's hang out and be like, oh, I'm at church. And they're like, oh, you're always at church. You don't have any time for me. I was like, okay, I'll make some time for you. And I just never made the time. So I feel like sometimes I wouldn't see my friends for a while. My name is Christine Newton, and I am a first year university student. I'm in pre-med, I'm very tall. <laughs> Why do you think people shy away from, from topics like religion and are afraid to talk about it? Um, well, religion is something, it's an all or nothing thing for most people and it's very close to them because you grew up in it or it's, it's like your family and then your religion, it's right there on the list so people don't want to offend anyone and they don't want to be confronted on what they believe in because if someone's Hindu and I'm Christian and I'm going to try and convince them that that's wrong well I'm confronting what they grew up in I'm confronting all that they've known so it's like saying your whole life has been a lie and that's hard for people to, to accept. Pray in a sense, I pray to, to God just to um, keep me calm, to help me to understand why things are the way they are, or just to
to give me patience in the moment. Well, my name is Joel Campbell, and um, I'm a production student here at the University of Regina. Well, oh, I've had a very hard life, but you know, it's really important to have a strong sense of who you are and what you're doing. Uh, my family is very important to me. Um, I, I really enjoy music, but I don't think I'd be alive today if it wasn't for my faith and my strong, firm belief, belief in what I know to be right. Um, you know, lately that's been challenged quite a bit. Um, but there's, there's an old saying, you know, iron sharpens iron. And uh, that hard stuff that you go through really helps you to be tempered in the end. Uh, hmm. uh, it's going to sound really cheesy, but honestly, live life to the fullest because you really get, you get this life. Don't screw it up and take every day as it comes, essentially. Well, you have to decide which is more important. What life you want for yourself. You have to decide the life you want and then take steps in that direction. So if you believe that your beliefs are right, you have to just let everything else go and follow that because you can't really go in two directions. This, you'll either be pulled one way or the other way. So you have to decide what, what you want and chase it. Don't, uh, don't ever make assumptions, I think. Um, and whether that be uh, because of your own personal faith or beliefs or whether that be just because you think you know everything at a certain stage in life, you never really know what can surprise you, I guess. Just be happy. Whatever makes you happy, it's usually it's the best choice for you. Whether you find your comfort in religion or somewhere else, it's, it, at the end, what's matter, it's your happiness. Whatever you find your happiness, this is going to be your best choice. Life isn't always a bed of roses. Sometimes it's a little difficult. But what we do when we're down defines how we live when we're truly living the way we want to. I hope you don't use that cup. <laughs> Stop testing the waters. Just jump right in. Into faith. Not into drugs and alcohol. Into faith. Yeah. People should live life, you know, like as I said, like if you're not doing if you're not harming anyone else and uh, you want to do something, and uh, you should just do because you, well, I don't know, I believe, I kind of believe in, right, in reincarnation, but it can be wrong, you know, I don't know, maybe life is just one, and the good thing about life is to be happy, and I think free freedom, this, the, the feeling to feel free, for me, for me, is something that really, really, really important, it's one of the most important things, like, I, I, I cannot feel like that I am not free, that I have to follow rules that people impose to me. Like, some people f don't don't care about it, you know? Like, some people like to be sheep, you know? But it's not, it's not for me. And I think, like, to young people who want to be religious, nice, be, be from church, you know, do good things to other people. But don't judge people that don't have the same belief you have. And people, for people who don't like to be religious, just be happy and be good with others because as i said spirituality and religion are two different things and you can be a person with a high level of spirituality be good with yourself and others and still don't like religion so 
just be yourself and be free.